Welcome to Advanced Exposure Technique using the masking brush. Okay, this is a very simple technique that will help you um, expose your picture in an advanced way. Okay, so I selected an image that has a lot of shadows for this particular class so that you can understand what we are about to see so that you can understand what I'm about to teach you okay looking at this picture a lot of dark shadows in this picture okay look at this part of the picture this part of the neck and this part of the body due to the lighting okay that's why we have these dark shadows in the picture and even on the background here okay so let me show you a way to eliminate all these shadows okay um, from the previous classes I have taught you how to fix the exposure of an image but an ordinary technique of fixing the exposure will not work on this picture because of the highlight and the mid-tone if you use the exposure tool to lift the exposure you will overblow the highlight Okay, so and that's why we cannot use this tool on this particular picture if you decide to use the shadow to lift the shadows on the image you will also find out that the highlights and the mid-tone are affected okay reason being that okay some part of the picture are rightly exposed why some parts are very dark so the problem is that you have to find a way to lift those shadows without affecting the mid-tone and the highlight because the mid-tone and the highlights are perfect from what i can see here just the only problem i can i can see in this picture is the shadow okay and so to fix this follow me and let let me show let me show you how you can lift the shadows using this advanced technique i'm about to show you so the first thing you want to do is create a layer under exposure panel or under color panel you can create a new layer by clicking this plus button okay you can rename the layer to whatever you want or leave the original name whatever works for you okay so now this is the layer we are going to work on so let us go back to the background and let us try and fix the shadow a little bit so lift the shadow carefully carefully okay remove uh, reduce the highlights to balance the image Increase the shadow carefully and leave it at this so this is the before and the after as you can see some part of the picture are already looking okay just few shadows to remove okay and mind you this is a very good picture this looks cinematic the shadow makes it look good okay but for the sake of this class I want to remove the shadow I don't want it to remain for the sake of this class okay so on this new layer what you want to do is okay, select your masking brush by pressing B on your keyboard or by selecting the tool here okay draw mask so selecting this you can increase the mouth of the brush by right clicking the moment you right click on the image it brings out this box where you can increase the size of your brush okay to whatever works for you I think this will work for me and then the next thing you want to do is hold M on your keyboard and then start drawing mask on the part that you want to work on carefully do this to avoid damaging 
the other part of the image okay and then as careful as you as you as you might be even if you make a mistake there is still a way to come back and fix and fix it so so after brushing over the parts where we want to work on okay so you can press M to remove the mask okay and then the next thing you want to do is go, go to your exposure panel and start working on it so what we have done by brushing over the part where we have shadow is that we have been able to isolate those parts on this new shad on this new layer okay so we have been able to remove um, the, the layers where we where you can see this red where you can see the mask we have been able to move it to this new layer so we have removed it from the background so whatever we so any anything we do on this layer we only affect the part where we have the mask and so we use mask to isolate the areas we want to work on okay so remove the M make sure the layer is selected the layer where you have brushed over the shadow make sure that layer is selected okay and then go to exposure and then let's start with lifting the shadow okay as you can see we have been able to lift the shadow but we is looking weird is not, it's not looking good and that's because our mask is not refined the edges of our mask is not yet refined okay so to fix this problem right click on this layer on the la on the layer where you have the mask right click okay and go to feather mask let's start with that okay so as you can see this fixes the problem okay so press you, so you, if, if it's too much you can reduce it here okay but for me 100 will work for this picture this particular picture okay so let's apply it so this is the before and this is the after and after so as you can see we have been able to lift the, sh the ash shadows okay you can even continue to lift the exposure to have more brightness on, the, on that part okay before and after so this is how to expose your picture using an advanced technique in capture one 